the virtual reality, whether it is uh, cinematic or not, is not just about the hardware. Let's talk about your liquid cinema. Our company specializes in creating software for cinematic virtual reality. In other words, that you can watch movies yep. that you feel like uh, you're in. Instead of watching them, you feel like you're sure. in the movie. And you need software to drive those experiences, and that's what Liquid Cinema does. But you're also an award-winning filmmaker yourself. How is virtual reality helping you open up new ways of storytelling? When you have a medium like virtual reality, which is really new, it's different from standard film. So in a standard film, you've got a flat screen, um, where you can use cutting to tell your story and that's because you're sort of away from the screen you know you're looking at it from yeah. a distance that's the film it comes together in your mind in VR you're in the film yeah. it's all around you so a cut for instance is not the same thing as a cut in a regular movie you lose a lot of the, the power of traditional film that you have in cutting because you can't do it the same way anymore so what we have to do is find a new language for telling stories in this new medium. Liquid Cinema comes with a lot of wonderfully built-in things that help you tell a story in that medium that just uses a vocabulary that, that, that didn't exist before. I guess what broadcasters can do is they can, they can actually now broadcast space and time, yeah, yeah. not just story. So, and that's, you know a, that's, really, a really, that's a really wonderful idea, actually. What I'm really excited about is when, when are we gonna see the first, say, or, properly made drama in VR. Yes. I think that's going to be really exciting. It's going yes. to open up a complete different landscape. Yes. One of the fundamental difficulties in VR is directing audience attention. In the regular medium, people don't have the choice to look around, but in a sure. medium where they can look around anywhere, you as a director, as a storyteller, you're going to go, what are they looking at? Yep. How do I direct the attention? Yep. You know, why is this more important than that? When you come into a new VR scene that surrounds you, and before you were looking in the wrong direction, yeah. you might miss the most important thing in the new scene. The protagonist who's talking to you might be behind you and you might miss him. So our players actually take care of this big problem in VR oh. because they know where you're looking and they reorient the scenes on the fly based on where you're looking. So we're giving filmmakers the control back again yeah, yeah. Uh, that they're missing, but without taking the control away from the audience. Yes. Because yeah, audiences yeah. want to be free. They don't want to be manipulated. The yeah. beauty of VR is you can look anywhere that you want. Thomas Wallman. Sounds good. Thank you, you so much for joining me on Pulse of MIP. And Thank I hope you. you'll enjoy the rest of your MIP. Sounds good. Are you real or virtual? Uh, well, you're touching me, so you can tell. You never know. <laughs> <laughs>